Welcome back to our summer Bible study on the book of Psalms. And so we are continuing through Psalm 17, which has been this, this embodied psalm of, you know, Lord, I want my whole life to be before you in this psalm, but I also ask for your deliverance from, from those who are actively working against me, those who are trying to ruin my life, those who are um, causing me pain, causing me hurt. So, so today we're going to talk about our enemies and how do we... How do we think about that? And I think that's one of the things that's hard sometimes as Christians because, you know, we want everybody to, to like us or love us. And that's often not the case. There are going to be people who, who do not. And so how do we respond to that? And so I'm going to start with the psalm and then I'll continue our discussion. So this is verses 10 through 12. So they, my enemies, close their hearts to pity. With their mouths they speak arrogantly. They track me down. Now they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear, like a young lion lurking in ambush. Now, in the psalm, the enemies take the form of an animal, of, of a lion that's, that's tracking them down. And Instead of having hearts that are open to God's mercy, their hearts have been closed. They are closed to pity. And again, it's that, that part of our, our life, you know. My heart is, if you open it by, if you visit it by night, you will see that it's open to you. But their hearts are closed. And, and so I do think that one of the things we need to talk about is, you know, how do we pray to God when, when we have something against somebody else? And I think sometimes we're, we pr may have been taught that, hey, we pray to God in a way that, you know, you soften everything and you don't really tell the truth. You know, you try and put everything in the best possible light. But I think that the psalm, the witness of the psalms is that you, you come to God with what you're, you're feeling, what your experience is right there at that moment. And the experience of the psalmist at this point is that their enemies aren't acting like humans, they're acting like predators. Now... Is their perception accurate? We don't know, but they bring it to God. And they entrust it into God's hands. And, you know, I, I do believe that, you know, for example, in the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus says, you know, if someone strikes you on their, the one cheek, turn the other cheek. You know, that, that our response to the enemies is not to be met with violence for violence. Instead, it's to be met with the opportunity to turn the other cheek, to, to go the extra mile, to to speak the kind word, to, to forgive where we've not received forgiveness. But I also think in the midst of that, that we need to be able to go to God and say, God, this is what I'm experiencing, and I need to commit this to you. Here are these people who have done these things to me, and I need not be the one to judge us. That that needs to be in your hands, because you're far more capable of that than I am. That you understand what's in the hearts of these people in a way I cannot. I see their hearts as being closed. Maybe you see something different. But here's what I see. Their mouths speak arrogantly. But maybe to you, their mouths say something different. I see them tracking me down and acting like a lion. Maybe there's something that needs to change in them. And maybe there's something that needs to be changed in me. But, but ultimately, in this walk of faith, I'm committing this back to you. And I trust that you are the one who can and will deliver me from this. And so, you know, we pray. We pray for our enemies. Now, we may be praying for our enemies for them to be stopped in what they're doing. We may be praying for our enemies in a way to where we are asking for God to, to judge them. But we pray for our enemies also that they may come to see the world in which, the way in which we see it. You know, that they may walk in faithfulness to God in the way that we're trying to walk in faithfulness to God. And so we lift, we lift up even our enemies to the God of steadfast love. We'll be back tomorrow to finish up this song.